Welcome back, I've got some more batteries to test that were sent in via Vapcell. These are the 21700s. I previously looked at their 18650s. Two different capacities, we have a 4000 milliamp hour rated at 30 amps and a 4500 milliamp hour that is rated at 20 amps for continuous discharge. I always go off those ratings, not the peak discharge rate that you see on some batteries because you can't discharge them at that rate for a full length of time. You have the verification sticker on each of the batteries so you can scratch that off and check it. Unprotected cells, same chemistry, INR. Just like the previous ones that I looked at, you also get color coordinated carry cases for them. It's not essential, but it's nice to see extras like that that are included. Quick look at the data sheet for both types of battery and you'll notice that the recommended charge rate is 1.5 amps with a maximum charge rate of 3 amps. As I have four cells with discharge capacity test at half an amp, you'll see that the ratings for the 4000 milliamp hour ones are just above. Most of them are at 4200. Onto the higher capacity cells, first batch, both of them came in over 4500 and the same on the second batch. So the ratings are accurate on these batteries as far as the discharge capacity goes. Testing the internal resistance, first up is the higher drain cells and coming in around about 15 milliohms. On the higher capacity ones, the internal resistance is a little bit higher, but it's not by much, it's 18 milliohms. Up to around about 20 was the most that I saw. Good results overall for these batteries. They live up to their specifications and claims and that's exactly what we wanna see when we test batteries that have accurate capacities and that the internal resistance is low. Do stick around, I'll be testing more batteries in the future and thanks very much for watching.